Now at this point, you got a solid foundation, a solid overview of some core prompting techniques and the core elements that make up a prompt. Now in this and the next lecture, I want to dive a bit deeper into prompting and take a look at some advanced techniques, if you want to call them like this, though all these techniques do in the end use all those concepts and elements covered in the previous lectures. Now the first slightly more advanced technique into which I want to dive is the ask before answer prompting technique. And the idea here simply is that you in the end still have your role, goal and your constraints and extra information, but in addition, in your prompt, you tell ChatGPT that before generating its main answer to your prompt, it should first ask a couple of clarification questions. A couple of questions that allow ChatGPT to produce a better answer. Now here's an example for this technique. Now in this prompt, I'm again defining a role that ChatGPT should act as an experienced travel blogger with a focus on destinations for nature and activity lovers. And then I define the actual goal, which is to write a blog post about snorkeling at Champagne Beach on Dominica, which is really amazing. I've been there last year, can totally recommend it, but that's a side note. And then I'm also providing some extra information, but I also added this last paragraph here, where I tell ChatGPT that it should first ask me for more information if such extra information is needed to make sure that the best possible blog post is being written here. Now to see the difference, I'll first of all get rid of that last paragraph and then generate this blog post by just sending this prompt. And I'm getting a decent blog post with some nice information inside of it. Definitely not too bad. Definitely a blog post that could be used but also really not too special. Therefore, here's the same prompt again, now with that last paragraph being added. And if I send this to ChatGPT, it indeed does ask me for additional information. Specifically here, it's asking me for extra details about Champagne Beach, which I might want to highlight, like for example, more details of the marine life, the snorkeling conditions or nearby attractions. So therefore here, as a follow-up message, I provide more details about Champagne Beach, why it's so special, about the marine life that can be expected there, and I'm adding that extra information that you should be a somewhat experienced swimmer if you're going to go snorkeling there, because the conditions there can be challenging if winds and currents are strong. So with that sent, ChatGPT then goes ahead and generates me a great blog post, which I could use on my website, which features those additional little details that I provided and which therefore arguably is better than the first version, which did not have all that extra information. So therefore this ask before answer prompting technique is really not too special. It's still all about defining a goal, a role, and some extra constraints and information. But you're taking advantage of ChatGPT's vast knowledge pool and its capabilities to help you generate a better response and some better output by simply telling ChatGPT that it should ask you for additional information and clarification before it goes ahead and generates the final output. And that's a nice extra trick you should be aware of.